sa edukasyong hatid sa bawat tahanan walang iwanan because you learn as one Hello friends! We are so happy that you are joining us today for another episode of We Learn As One, My TV School! I am Teacher Lino and I will be leading the lesson with some help from our friends. Welcome Ate Sam and Kuya Ian! Children, say hello! Hi children! Are you ready to have fun? Ate Sam and Kuya Ian will help me with a lesson today. We will read a story about fruits and trees. Teacher, I am ready to read our story. I love to eat fruits. I do too. Sagi is my favorite fruit. I hope we can read about them. Children, do you like fruit? What is your favorite? Do any trees with fruit grow near your home? Before we begin reading, I want to share some words with you. These words will be in the story. I will spell each word, read it, and use it in a sentence. This word is tree. Spell tree with me. Then read the word with me. Children, you can spell and read the words too. T-R-E-E -E. Tree This is a tree. There are many kinds of trees. You may have trees around your home. There are lots of trees where I live, like mango trees and acacia trees. Friends, what are trees like where you live? This word is plant. Let's spell the word and read it together. P-L-A-N-T Plant Plants are living things that grow in the ground. Trees are plants. Plants can also grow in pots. I keep plants in my home. I have a gumamela growing by my home. Children, do plants grow by your home? That's great! See? O C O N U T Coconut This is a coconut. It is brown and hard. But inside, it has white fruit. Children, have you tasted coconut? What was it like? I think it tastes great. This word is mango. Let's spell it and read it together. M A N G O. Mango. This is a mango. It is a sweet yellow fruit. Kuya Ian and Ati Sam. Do you like mango? Yes, I like mango, even more when it is made into mango shakes. I like fresh mango. Mango is so tasty, especially when dipped in alamang. This word is papaya. Can you spell and read Papaya with me. P A P A Y A. Papaya. This is 
a papaya. It is another sweet fruit. Inside, it is orange with a lot of seeds. I love to eat papaya. Children, what fruits do you like to eat? Those fruits are delicious! Now that we know these words, we are ready to read. This sounds fun! Children, now we are ready for Story Corner! The story is about fruits and trees. Family members who are joining us, we hope you enjoy the story too. I will read the story out loud. When I ask a question, you can answer out loud, just like you do in school. There's a picture of fruit on the cover. What kind of fruit is it? Yes, the front cover shows a picture of bananas. Bananas are a fruit. Bananas are a sweet fruit. They grow in clusters like this. That's right. This is the title. The title is the name of the story. Let's say it together. Fruits and Trees. We also see two names. The first name tells us who wrote the story, Yvette Tan. The second name tells us who took the photos, Lion Bordadora. Now, when we read, we turn the pages a certain way. Ati Sam, can you show the children? Yes, we turn the pages like this. Children, what do you think this story will be about? Telling what you think a story may be about is called making a prediction. Remember, the title is Fruits and Trees. The title can help you guess what this story is about. You have some good ideas. Let's read to find out if you're right. This is a coconut. It comes from a coconut tree. This is a mango. It comes from a mango tree. This is a banana. It comes from a banana plant. This is a papaya. It comes from a papaya tree. Wonderful job, children! We have finished the story. You all did a great job following along with me. Now, let's talk about the story. What is the main idea of the story. The main idea is what the story is mostly about. The story is about fruits and trees. Yes, fruits and trees is the main idea. That is what the story is mostly about. Now, let's talk about details. A detail tells more about something. Important details help you understand the story. What is the most important detail on this page? The word coconut is the most important detail. Yes, Kuya Ian, you are right. Do you remember what a coconut is? A coconut is a fruit. It is hard on the outside. Inside, it has white fruit. 
Let's try another one. What detail is the most important? Mango is the most important detail. Yes, Ati Sam. Nice job. We've talked about mango. Mango is a sweet yellow fruit. Let's try one more. What detail is the most important? Banana plant is the most important detail. Hey, that's the same picture as the cover. Look at the bananas at the top of the plant. There are so many. Yes, the cover can help us know what the story is about too. Children, do you remember what you predicted the story would be about? Were your predictions correct? Great job! The title of the story helped us to know what it would be about. Fruits and trees. Children, let's talk more about the story. Some stories and books are made up or not real. Other stories and books are about things that are real. Was this story about made up things or about real things? You have some great answers! Kuya Ian, what do you think? Well, I know the story uses pictures of real things. So, I think the story is about real things. Yes! Some stories have made up people or animals in them. This story does not. It only talks about things that are real. You are both right. This story tells about things that are real. It is not made up. Now, let's move on. Kuya Ian and Ati Sam, would you like to play a rhyming game with our friends? Yes, I would. I love games. Yes, I would too. Great. Okay, everyone, stand up to play with us. Parents and family members who are joining us, we hope you will play too. Remember that rhyming words have the same ending sound. We read a word in the story that has the E sound, it. Many words rhyme with it. For example, the words it and sit rhyme. Say the words with me. It, sit. Did you hear how sit has the same sounds at the end as it, e, t? Great! Let's play! Okay, here we go! First, we will listen for words with a it sounds at the end. It. Now, I will say two words. You will repeat the words with me. If the words rhyme, clap your hands like this. If the words do not rhyme, pat your head like this. Great job clapping! Fit and pit rhyme. Bit, dot. Bit, dot. That's right! Bit and dot do not rhyme. So you patted your head. Dot ends with ot. Bit ends with it. 
Let's try some more. Kit. Hit. Kit. Kit. Hit. Nice job. Kit and hit rhyme. Let's try another one. In. On. In. On. That's right. In and on have different beginning sounds. In begins with E. On begins with O. Oh. Let's try one more. Inch. Pinch. Inch. Pinch. Nice! That was a little tricky. Inch and pinch do not have the same beginning sounds. Inch begins with E. Pinch begins with P. Inch and pinch do rhyme though. They have the same ending sounds. Let's try some more. Win. Spin. Spit. Spite. Stick. Click. Very good! Children, you know a lot about the short E sound. We've done plenty of practice today. You've learned quite a bit. We're at the end of our story time today. We've read fruits and trees and learned about several types of trees and their fruits. Next time, we will talk more about the text and practice more activities. Before we go, I want to give you activities to do at home. Look at the pictures in your Fruits and Trees book at home. Go outside and look at the trees where you live. Draw a picture of one tree and color it. Include any fruit on the tree. Label the trees and fruit if you know their names. Ask a family member if you need help. Kuya Ian, Ate Sam, and all of the children and family members with us today, thank you for being with us. Truly, here at my TV school, we learn as one, yes we learn as one, together hand in hand. We learn as one, yes we learn as one, together hand in hand. I enjoy reading and learning new things with all of you. See you next time. Goodbye! Goodbye! We learn as one, yes we learn as one, together